Hi there, I am Dan Elder from Kidasa Software Support. Welcome to this tutorial video about Milestones Professional. This tutorial video covers refreshing your milestone schedule for multiple MS project files. We added nickname functionality starting in version 2015, which allows you to connect a single milestones file to multiple MS project files. As an example, I will be adding a few tasks from one MS project file, and then a few tasks from another project file. First, we will need to set up the refresh file list. To do this, go to the Connections tab in Milestones Professional, click on Refresh Previously Imported Project, and then choose Create slash Edit Refresh File List. I will choose my two MS project files that I will be using. Click Add Schedule, Choose your files. I'm holding control to choose multiple project files, this Death Star example and smallproject.mpp, and then press open. They should appear on the list here. You can use the default nicknames, but it might be a good idea to change the nicknames to something more descriptive, up to eight characters. For the Death Star file, I will change it to D Star. So you can type your new name in the left box down here and press press to update nickname. Then I'll choose the small project and I will give it a nickname of small. If your file names ever change later you can select the file and then click on the change button and choose that new MPP file name. Once the nicknames are set up I'll press OK save above changes now we need to add some tasks for Microsoft Project to our schedule. I will now go to the first project file, in my case the Death Star file. Inside that file, I will select whatever tasks that I'd like to import to the milestone schedule. If you have Milestones Professional 2017 or newer, you can select multiple tasks at once. If you only have version 2015, you can only import one task at a time with this method, so keep that in mind. I will select this entire section of the project file, by clicking to the left of the first task and holding shift on my keyboard and then clicking the last task that I want to grab. So I'm going to grab uh, tasks two through six. Uh, once I have these selected inside project, uh, then we have to go back to the milestone schedule. Inside milestones, we're going to right click on the row that we want to add these tasks to and make sure you right click inside a column area uh, that way you get the full menu so I'm going to right click inside this column on this first task row and I'm going to choose link to active MS project task inside of this dialog box you want to make sure you choose the nickname that these tasks will use if you click this drop down you can see the list of available nicknames from your refresh file list I will choose the D-Star nickname since we're getting tasks from that Death Star file. Just a quick note about this process, if you'd like more information, we have another video on our website about manual tagging. For this example, I will make sure Tag Task Rows is checked, as well as Add Symbology. Then I will customize the standard symbology by clicking Customize, and then I will use bar, start, and finish. I'll just bring in the Gantt bars for these tasks. And then I'm going to choose my symbols and bars and for these tasks I will use um, blue bars. Those look good. If you want symbol text on your symbols uh, you can check this tag symbol text over here. Um, if you don't you can just uncheck that and it'll ignore any of these settings here. So I'm going to press OK and make sure you have on new rows selected over here that way it'll push each task on its own separate row and then I'm going to press OK to get that uh, symbology over to milestones now you'll see if you click on one of these symbols for example the invisible symbol at the end of this bar and then you can go to symbol links in the selection tab 
you can see that the nickname was added to the symbol link, the automation tag. This lets Milestones know that this symbol is linked to whatever the dstart nickname is set up as in the create, edit, refresh file list. I will now repeat the process with another project file. I'm going to open up my small project.mpp. I'm going to select a few tasks. Uh, in this case, I'll use control just to select a variety of tasks from the schedule. Go back to Milestones, right-click under what I've just added, again choose Link to Active MS Project Task. The big thing you gotta watch out for here is to choose the correct nickname again, so I'm going to change this to Small to use that small nickname and I will change the symbology. In this case, maybe I will just do milestone finish and select maybe this purple arrow. That's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna press OK. And again, I'm gonna press OK. So now you can see these symbols came in from that other project file and they have a different nickname associated with them. So now when you refresh, um, Milestones will know exactly uh, what symbols belong to which Microsoft project schedule. Well, that's it for this tutorial video about Milestones Professional. Be sure to visit our website at kidasa.com and email support at kidasa.com with any questions. Thanks for watching.